Hi everyone, how are you? I have an exciting topic for you today and it's about how to raise money through getting donations. And right now there's a very interesting way to get donations, something called crowdfunding. Uh, it's something that's kind of started in the last two years, maybe three years. Uh, it's really picking up steam and a lot of people are raising money from it. Um, but surprisingly still not many people know about it. So in this video I'm going to explain what it is, how you can participate and try to raise money for your business. Uh, and give you some insider kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't want to call them secrets, but like insider knowledge of actually how it really works. So first of all, uh, what is crowdfunding, this new term? <clears throat> it's basically uh, sort of post, you, you basically post your uh, business online on one of these crowdfunding websites and instead of collecting a large sum of money like from an investor or something, you collect a little bit of money, like $10, $20, $100 from the crowd, from a lot of people who believe in your project. And these people may be people you know, like your family, your friends, your acquaintances, your co-workers. Or these may be people who learn about your project through your advertising or your mailing list or something. And then they get inspired by what you're doing uh, and want to help. And donate so they donate a little bit of money so it's not a big deal for them but if a lot of people donate it can add up to a big sum and this is something that it started in, in the in the US um, it's growing very very fast um, but still it's pretty small because in the mainstream people people still many people still don't know about it and I'm a little bit surprised sometimes because uh, you know I'm in the, I, I'm in the tech space and Everyone knows about it in the tech space, but when you get out of the, of the technology space, uh, not that many people seem to know about it. So now you know. So the main sites, the leading site for crowdfunding is something called kickstarter.com. Uh, it's the leader, but it, do, it doesn't accept every kind of business or every kind of project. They only accept a few kinds of projects. The second... Um, the, company in this space is something called Indiegogo.com. They accept a wider variety of projects and they have slightly less uh, strict rules about what you can do. So um, there's also uh, a lot of uh, specialized <clears throat> crowdfunding sites. So for example, if you're um, making a mobile app, there's actually a crowdfunding site, uh, app, uh, site for that. If you're doing something in health research there's actually a or science research there's actually a crowdfunding site for that and so there are many many specialized crowdfunding sites where the beauty of them is that the people who are on them already want to invest in the kind of project that you have um, so now that you understand now that you understand what it is where you can go to raise money for it uh, let me give you a, a couple of tips for how to do it right so the thing they have in common, the thing that these crowdfunding sites have in common is basically you kind of you write your story and you may, you usually are encouraged to make an inspirational video about so people can see it and people can say, wow, that's amazing. You know, I really believe in this person's vision. They're doing something great. And it's whether, you know, if you're starting a restaurant or you're making a movie or something, right, uh, whatever project you have, that page on that crowdfunding site is, is where you get to express um, what's great about your project and get people excited. And when people are excited, they're more likely to donate. So that's what you do. That's, that's kind of the standard process. What's not standard is how you attract people to your crowdfunding page because that's the hardest thing to do, right? I mean, if you get hundreds of thousands of people to go to your crowdfunding page, you'll raise a lot of money, but the trick is how do you do that? Right. So the simplest way to do that is if you have an absolutely unique, amazing project, right? Like some kind of like a robot or something, something really interesting. Uh, then that just naturally gets attention and people share it on social media and things like that. The problem is that most people don't have that kind of a project. Most companies are, they're just companies. They're interesting, but not amazing. So what most people have to do is figure out uh, how to promote their uh, 
crowdfunding page efficiently, right? You know, so if you have if you're if you have an amazing project, that will kind of market itself, and it that will go on. You know, that will be both seen on the like the probably the home the front page of the crowdfunding site. But if you don't have a project that ends up on the front page of the crowdfunding site, you're not going to get that many people seeing your project. And believe me, there's a lot of projects on those crowdfunding sites because everyone wants free money, right? It's one of the easier way to ways to get money if you can get that money. Um, you know, so people, so there are many people after it, and there's quite a bit of competition. So it's kind of up to the entrepreneur who's raising money to sort of hustle and really make sure many people see the donation page, and especially the right kind of people. So if you're starting a restaurant, maybe people passionate about food, or in your you know in the area that where you're trying to start it, um, or if you're trying to make a movie. Maybe people show it to people who are uh, into film, you know, the kind of genre, or something like that. And if you can get, um, you know, if you can use social media and um, get someone with very large followings or someone who's very respected to sort of um, support your project, then that will obviously help you get a lot of people to your crowdfunding page, and maybe some of those people will donate. Uh, but it's the, but that is the trick: is that you are the one who has to drive those people and find a way to drive those people to your crowdfunding page. So, <clears throat> in most crowdfunding campaigns, they take about 32 days to 45 days or something like that. So you kind of have to be quick. Uh, you know, you, you have to be able to start marketing it right away and, you know, go, go, go. Um, so that's kind of how you do it. What I want to warn people uh, is that, you know, I, and I see many entrepreneurs, uh, you know, I, I currently run mobile apps for starting and planning a business, which, you know, are available on Android, iOS, Kindle, and the apps have like 200,000 downloads. So I see many, many, and by the way, if you're curious about the apps, you can take a look at problemio.com, has all the links to the apps. But what I see many people doing is basically they learn about crowdfunding and they realize like, hey, I can get cash for people donating, that's great. And they try it, but they don't succeed. And there's a, there's actually a really high failure rate in crowdfunding in precisely because it's competitive and precisely because you have to hustle in that 30 day to 45 day window, you kind of have to do, go beyond the possible to drive the people to your, um, campaign to your crowdfunding page and what many people do is you know they kind of usually have projects which haven't started yet and most of the time they get told well I don't want to really put money into something that hasn't started right but most crowdfunding campaigns are for things that have not started so you cannot take that kind of thing as an excuse instead what you have to do is uh, you know, it's like up to you. It's you have to find a way, really find a way to um, get those people to donate, right? So you know, and you can Google online some, for some success stories of how people did it, but it's never easy. Um, it's always kind of like you have to be resourceful. You have to really, really work hard. You have to hustle. Um, so that's how how you do it. So you can't just like make that crowdfunding campaign and expect people to come in, you have to be really ready to work and promote that page of yours to, to drive people to it. Because, you know, if you, if you think about how many, people, how many people need to see get to that page in order to donate, I mean, most people will just browse, but people don't like spending. So a small, only a small percentage will donate. So, you know, if you don't, if your average donation is like 20 bucks, um, and maybe one or two percent of the people who come to your crowdfunding page, or five percent, if that percentage don't uh, donate, then just do the math to how to how many actual people you need to get to your crowdfunding page um, in order to raise whatever amount you need. Right? It's a lot. It's usually a lot. You know, if you're raising some substantial amount of money, if you like in the thousands of dollars. So figure out first how do you will get that traffic to your crowdfunding page, and then. If you can get that traffic, then crowdfunding is a very good way to get donations for your business. So thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll get alerts when I make new videos about um, how to raise money, how to grow your business, how to, you know, business ideas, uh, how to promote your business. I make a bunch of videos like that. So please subscribe and comment if you want to. And, you know, I'll be glad to hear from you. I really like to get comments. And if you want to, you can check out my mobile apps at problemio.com uh, or just search for Problemio in any of the app stores, the iOS, uh, Android, Kindle, Nook, um, and, you know, of course, try the apps. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next videos.